Good morning, traders. Bill Dixon here at MF Global on Monday, October 10th, with some morning comments for the soft markets. Cocoa's up today, uh, a lot of outside strength. Dollar is getting absolutely crushed this morning. Uh, big news out of Europe, so we're, we're seeing uh, a lot of the markets are higher. Cocoa's not up that much, so again, uh, the fundamental picture really hasn't changed there. We've talked about this, it's been the same for months. Plenty on hand, plenty more to come. Um, no real threats to the crop, so I do expect to see further downside at that point. We are getting pretty close to that resistance level, just above 27. Uh, so if you are looking to, uh, if you are optimistic about commodities and uh, kind of bearish on the dollar and whatnot, um, I might look at other markets to go ahead and get long and participate in this up move. At the same time, if you're not all that optimistic, I think this market provides you a pretty good uh, opportunity to go ahead and get short uh, because the fundamentals are so weak. Um, I think the upside potential, even with some continued outside strength, should be somewhat limited. Uh, while I will follow them higher, I don't, like I said before, I don't think you're going to take a ton of heat if you go ahead and get short up around these levels. Coffee. I uh, got absolutely crushed on Friday. It is up today again, outside strength, uh, going ahead and carrying it, <coughs> carrying it higher, excuse me. Uh, we do have better weather in Brazil again. A lot of that uh, downside on Friday was, was um, attributed to rain in Brazil. Uh, also, we did have some outside weakness I saw towards the, uh, the middle to the end of the day, uh, which went ahead and, and kind of opened the floodgates for the downside here. But again, I still do like getting short somewhere between that 235 to 240 area if we're able to see those prices again. I know we kind of poked our head just a, a little bit in there a couple days uh, last week, um, and I've had a pretty nice shorting opportunity. Uh, got caught a nice move at this point. While we get back up there, maybe it is going to heavily depend on what the other markets do, in my opinion. So keep an eye out for that. Sugar is having another strong day today. Uh, I was oversold. Uh, we had some outside strength, so it looks like we finally got the confirmation uh, from the outside, further confirmation from the outside markets to go ahead and move that market one way or the other. Kind of looked like it formed a little bit of a base. I'm still not so confident that that's going to hold longer term. I do think that uh, this up move, I, I kind of welcome it. Don't have a whole lot of exposure right there right now, but I do like the idea of putting on some short positions, probably by way of buying puts rather than the um, than just selling futures outright just because you know days like today is the rough being caught short uh, but the uh, the fundamentals do look pretty weak for that market we've got a coming surplus so again I really don't see a whole lot of reason for that market to extend too much further unless we do get continued outside strength energies were considerably stronger today as well um, so kind of keep an eye on those but uh, be ready to go ahead and, and get short in some way shape or form um, now if you'd like to talk about these markets or any other markets for that matter in greater detail feel free to reach me at my trade desk, which is 312-548-2942. Please do remember that futures trading does involve the risk of substantial loss is not suitable for all investors. Thanks and have a good day.